Right, Lata, thanks a lot for that. We'll come back to you when the data points become available. Uh, but let's move forward now. The big newsmaker of the day, ITC Chairman and Managing Director Sanjeev Puri says uh, the economy has normalized and demand recovery is robust. Speaking exclusively to CNBC TV 18, Shireen Bhan, Puri also warned that inflation remains a key risk, even as he said that there are green shoots across rural India. He's also upbeat on the hotel industry, which he says uh, is seeing demand like never before. Puri, meanwhile, credited tightening of the belt for protecting the margins and promised more such steps to keep costs in check. Take a look. I think the good, good sign that we have today is that the economy has really normalized. The recovery has been robust and uh, the economy is progressive and that stable environment uh, does well for businesses. So we are continuing to experience strong growth across uh, our business uh, segments. Yes, inflation is a concern, but that's more limited to the consumer side, where we are continuing to see uh, growth. You know, uh, let's talk about consumer sentiment in a little more detail, Sanjeev. As you pointed out, uh, inflation is biting. What we hear in terms of commentary from other CEOs leading FMCG companies is that the urban pockets continue to uh, be stronger in comparison to the rural pockets. There has been a fair degree of down trading in the market as well. What is the visible indications that you're getting both on urban versus rural demand? Are you starting to see a pickup in rural? Uh, and what does that mean in terms of your ability to be able to pass on any future price hikes at this point in time? You said that will be the last resort. Uh, uh, you know, is that something that you're considering today? So, so it's like this that, uh, uh, you know, both the trends are visible in the market. There is a strong trend of premiumization. We are also seeing people, uh, you know, titrate and, and go down to uh, lower price uh, uh, packs or really down trade. So both of the trends are visible. We are experiencing overall a strong growth. And what we are also seeing is some green shoots of pickup even in rural. Mm -hmm. uh, I do believe that given the uh, that the inflation, inflation is kind of uh, now cooling off. I just wanted to get mm. a clarification mm. from you on what's happened on the export front because mm -hmm. of the restrictions. What was the revenue contribution on the export side and what is it today? And secondly, you also spoke about commissioning new plants. Uh, what is the capex likely to be? These are, of course, already you know, plants mm -hmm. that are going to be commissioned. But in terms of new capacity being added on, what is the capex outlook? Okay. So as far as the uh, revenue is concerned, I think the la large surge in our revenues that you saw in the recent past has been driven by some of these opportunities. No, no doubt about it, right? But what we, that, that these are really trading opportunities, mm. right? And trading opportunities also are not, uh, you know, these are small margin opportunities, right? What I'm really trying to say is as far as exports are concerned, the, this kind of opportunity exports are concerned, they come with very wafer thin, they come with wafer thin margin. Okay. It's not something that is going to materially, you sure. know, change the, hmm. uh, yeah. They, they will be blip in the top line, okay. but you know, it, it does not give you a commensurate bottom line. Okay. So, so, so just we have to keep that in, keep okay. that in perspective, okay. right? Uh, hopefully the right sense will prevail over a time, which is you know, more logical. <laughs> Let me then ask you at this point in time, you talked about belt tightening and you said that uh -huh. you haven't tightened the belt as much as you have uh, uh -huh. uh, over the past year or so. Uh, how much of more are we likely to see uh, in terms of that? Uh, and, you know, how worried are you about margins today? What would you qualify as the big risks, uh, both to the demand outlook as well as the margins today? I think we, we believe we still can continue to improve margins through a lot of interventions that we are doing. It's, uh, you know, for example, through digital. The way we buy today, yeah. industry 4.0 in the factories, mm. in the supply chain, mm. you know, all facets, uh, all facets are, are being optimized through digital technologies. And, and we are seeing benefits of that. Mm. Our distributed manufacturing of ICMLs, we have 10 of them now. And two of them already have integrated automated warehouses, which, which gives another productivity in logistics. Right. So all of this with reduced distance to market, with the delaying of operations and the mm. optimization efforts that we are taking, continuing to, you know, uh, boost uh, usage of renewable energy, 
So all that is with that we do believe uh, that uh, the the one percent or hundred basis points that we are talking about consistently improving margins year on year. I think we will be able to deliver it. Well, you can catch that entire conversation with Sanjeev Puri.